Hi, this is Tammy Karachik and it is July the 5th, 2019. Happy National Bikini Day. Okay, I think this one is going to need a little bit of a history lesson. This, on this day um, in 1946, the first string bikini was released by French designer Louis Renaud. Now there is a little bit of controversy attached to that day, but we will go back to the 1930s. Um, in the 1930s, they did have technically bikinis, but they weren't really bikinis. They were kind of like a Pinterest disaster when uh, basically somebody would take a one-piece bikini or sorry, one, key, one piece bathing suit and go zip down the middle and there you go, you had your two piece. There was probably about that much space in between the top and the bottom. So Renaud was actually an automotive engineer and his mom ran a lingerie shop and in the 1940s she wanted to retire and so Renaud decided to take over the business and that's how he learned about design and textiles. And he would often see people on the beach with their tops rolled up um, so that they didn't get tan lines. And so, I mean, because who wants tan lines, right? I mean, especially when you're sunbathing. I mean, you shouldn't be sunbathing anymore anyways, but this isn't a PSA, so not yet. Um, in any case, and so he thought, okay, well, maybe I'll design a, a bathing suit, you know, to, to help them um, one day. And then let's enter in Jacques Hume. Um, he was also a French designer and he had already designed a bathing suit, a bikini, but he didn't call it the bikini, he called it an atom. And the Atom was launched in May 1946. And how he launched it was he hired somebody to skywrite over the Mediterranean, the smallest bathing suit in the world. That's not quaint. Anyways, though, it wasn't as small, though, as people thought. It was had a larger top and it had bloomers with ruffles on them. That sounds so adorable, doesn't it? In any case, um, but when Renaud thought, when, when, when Renaud caught wind of this though, he didn't think it was so cute. He actually kind of panicked a little bit because he thought, wait a minute, I thought about that a while ago and um, now I'm kind of running out of time. And so don't forget too, there was also a patent at stake too because the, the design of the Atom was different than those two piece bathing suits that people were rolling up. So uh, he could apply, Hume could apply for, th for that patent. So what Renaud did was is he quickly, out of newspaper, he drew out a pattern with four triangles, literally four triangles. And he tried to get a model to get to model for him. Uh, to, to model the, the bathing suit because he wanted to, to call this huge press conference but nobody would do it. No, he couldn't find a model. The models were like, I'm not wearing that. I'm not really quite sure what kind of accent that is, but that's besides the point. And, but he was like, but, but this is like, this is like the moon race. This is like, this is like the battle of the Bryans, the miracle on ice, the who's gonna launch the first electric car. He's like, this is huge. Okay, he probably didn't say all that, but it's kind of like that. And then finally, he asked a new dancer and she was like, more than I wear on a regular work day. No offense to new dancers. Anyway, and so they had this huge press conference at this Paris, France swimming pool and, and the French media just loved it. They loved the design and not everybody embraced it. The Americans didn't like it. They liked the, the appearance of the Atom better. The, uh, the bikini was actually banned on the beaches of Spain and Italy. And people were very uncomfortable with the fact that the navel was exposed. So, didn't matter. Some people loved it so much that there was, there was a song written about it. And the Americans finally did embrace it by the 1960s. And the Atom was embraced eventually, but it was not called the Atom by then because Renaud did get the patent. 14 days after that press release or press conference, he did get the patent. So, but <laughs> I do believe that it had to do with um, all the fan mail that he received, mainly from men thanking him for inventing the string bikini. 
Um, another interesting fact that happened too was is that he also rented, he also rented a uh, skywriter to write the smallest, smallest bikini in the world. And also a fun fact, he also had an automobile um, made into a, a float um, to look like a boat. And he would put it in parades with all of his bikini clad models. And also too, in the early 50s, he would have it follow all the racers in the Tour de France. And um, I'm not quite sure if they ever placed, but that's besides the point. So in any case though, uh, if you have a bathing suit, if you have a bikini, go outside, enjoy the day. Um, and uh, I don't even have a, a bikini. Um, I'm, uh, I, only, I, only, I only like water if it's frozen. So, but uh, in any case, have a good day, enjoy it. It's uh, very hot outside, so, but try and get out there or stay in unless you uh, um, melt. All right, tell me out.